Place 24 peat moss plugs into your nursery's tray. Each plug has a small divot to place your seed in. Place one seed in each. Don't forget to take note of what you've planted and where. Add tap water to your nursery unit until the base is half full. Place the plug tray in the bottom and let your plug soak in the water for 15 minutes. Afterwards, empty out the remaining water and put the lid on the nursery. Place your nursery kit in the designated cutout on the Zip Garden drip tray. Wait a few days for your seeds to germinate. If you see condensation on the lid, you know that the humidity levels are adequate for your seeds. Once your plants start to sprout, it's time to turn on the Zip Garden lights. You should soak your seeds once a day with tap water by filling the base and draining after 15 minutes. When the seedlings are touching the top, you can remove the nursery lid. Your seeds will be ready to plant when the second set of true leaves have grown and the roots extend past the base of the plug. It's now time to transplant. Remove the matrix media and unfold flat on the floor or work surface. Lay a wicking strip on one of the unfolded halves of the matrix media and a 3 to 4 inch tail on the top, with one third of the long side of the wicking strip overlapping the back side of the matrix media. Fold the matrix media over, sandwiching the wicking strip between the two halves. Flip the matrix media and gently line it up to the top of the tower. Ensure that the folded end goes in first. Now is a good time to lay out your crop. We recommend that you keep approximately 4 to 6 inches of space between the seedlings for most crops. Place your first seedling between the matrix media and ensure it makes contact with the wicking strip. Zip the seedling into the tower using the pulling hook. Be sure to angle the seedling towards the top of the tower. This will prevent water from rolling off the plant and landing on the drip tray. Repeat this process by pulling the media and planting the seedlings, zipping the plants into place. The tower can now be placed in the zip garden beneath the water emitter openings. Make sure that the grommet is centralized over the tower and the tail of the wicking strip is positioned to collect water and direct it towards the root of the plant. To set a water timer, push down the timing segments to the on times. We recommend one watering instance every hour to start. Repeat these steps for the light timers. For optimal growth, we recommend 14 to 18 hours of light time per day or night to ensure there's enough light for the crops to grow. Make sure both of your timers are set to the T position to the red switch on the side of the timer. To add nutrient, fill the reservoir with hot water and tear open Nutrient Pack A. Dissolve it completely in the reservoir before adding Nutrient Pack B. Moving a full bucket into the zip garden can be cumbersome. So as an alternative, you can add your nutrient and water to an 18 liter water bottle or a clean pail. You can then fill the reservoir by pouring water into the drain on the drip pan assembly. Once the reservoir is positioned back in the zip garden, you can now turn on your air pump you should see bubbles reaching the surface of the reservoir. Turn your pump control valve to the right so that it's completely off. Then engage the power to your pump. Slightly open the valve until you have a steady stream of water flowing from the drip emitters. Your zip garden is now ready. Sit back and enjoy watching your first crop grow.